Hello everybody, I am Sacred and a hearty welcome to you all and thank you for joining me in our new let's play, now in our old quite old let's play of Hazard Iron 4 as the Soviet Union, yes as the Soviet Union in the economic crisis 2015 mod. So I have made long ago not the episode of that, but now we are continuing it again, perhaps this might be the last one depending on what still yet to take. Uh, let's get straight into the game. Straight into the game. But well, all major powers are defeated, and well, it's just a question of time until we capture all of the other countries here. But nevertheless, we were going to finish our conquest of Guatemala. Oh, we need to justify it. That's such a shame. Let's see, we have a woggle available against Peru, Libya, Danish. Alright. Let's justify against all of these countries. To puppet them, we want to puppet all of them. They have a quite a good industry, but we don't need any more factories. How you might see already, we are at war with them, Nicaragua. We are just justifying Costa Rica. Cancel. All right, that's it. And after that, we are also able to push in the Colombia <coughs> from Panama. Yeah, justification is finished for these countries, although we have to wait until our justification against Guatemala is finished, which will be only done in the 17th of June. Let's also justify against the British Mexico. Yeah, they are radical Islamists. They are really radical Islamists. Like, that's so funny. I mean, that's... yeah. Even Cuba. Cuba is radical Islamic. Yeah. But until when is the justification valid? Because I will uh, until the 16th uh, Costa Rica until like what's what is it? Uh, Costa Rica's 15th of April 2026. So that's yeah more than enough. All right, that's great then. Well, shall we research? We have single company, no harm in that. Uh, the Indian people Republic wants to send us one division. Really, one division the Indians want to send us. Well, yeah, look to the horribly bad infrastructure in that region. That's why we are simply not able to make a push possible because of the horrible infrastructure. It, it was a horrible idea, I admit, to send all these troops into that region. Therefore, I will do a slight reorganization here. Uh, 425, I mean, what in the name of God is that? 425 divisions. I'm just gonna leave 107 active here. 107, I'm gonna stay active. Hit Marshal Grigori Budioni, Grigori Budioni, I don't mind. And the 380, I'm gonna send away because that's. That's, that's simply overkill. That's a simply overkill, that's for sure. So. Here, 107 divisions. Another command of Grigory Budioni are gonna liquidate this, well, I would say, allied base of troops. Aggressive push. Then the Army 54. Well, here I have so many armies that it's simply uh, not worth it to name them all. Alright then, so Five People's Republic. I don't know who you need to capture. I say let's go for the conquest of Indonesia. Yeah, let's go for that, actually. We are in war with Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. I'm gonna send them first into that. Well, I'd say island here. They all look, we even have the Tejolia Takonia Brigada. Well, they're gonna be useful against the Indonesians. So, yeah. We are gonna capture Indonesia. So, I want to ask you, guys, I wanna ask all of you do you think. That I should play this episode, I say again, do you think that I should play this episode until I conquered even the tiniest province in the world and made it under Soviet command? Or do you think I should stop and start a new let's play instead? So please share your opinions, please uh, drop a comment below if I should continue this let's play until I capture the tiniest province, the tiniest country, even possible to capture, or if I should simply, uh, well, uh, finish it here because we kept we hold we rule the world basically. So please let me know <coughs> whatever you think would be the best. We don't have a. I need to justify it once more. I thought I had a war girl actually active. That's a shame. Well then, okay, let's. Yeah. I thought I had a war girl active. I probably slapped it out. Yeah. Yeah, we need more political power, that's for sure. 
No need to go for uh, Gennady Zhuganov questions Guatemalan sovereignty. We must rally behind this cause. I have 52 troops here. Ah, uh, what's that? Strakovia Divizia. Divizia. I actually wanna see, like, if I send them all over to that front line, if how the uh, infrastructure will look like. Probably it will be horrible, but we shall find that out then. Well, here, Tunis, 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 Tunis. Yeah, we we are in Alger already. We have land in Alger. That's great. But we forgot to advance. Well, this can be a French colony then. Haha. <laughs> no, but yeah. All right, and advance aggressively on the field marshal Nikolai Fralov. Nikolai Fralov. So the capitulation should be soon incoming. All right, uh, American troops. Yeah, the American industry. Yeah, look, People's Republic of North America. Basically, Mexico. Well, kind of is active again, but under well, well, we are playing by the way in the 1.21, um, 1 1.21. Mode of the game, uh, version of the game, I found a word. In the 1.21 version of the game, because 1.31 would make my game unplayable and crash. Therefore, that's the thing what we do. Yeah. Uh, we have enough yeah, armatas. We need, what we have, minus 650,000 infantry equipment. Minus 650,000. I didn't know that. God damn it. That's unbelievable. 650,000 we need. But here we don't need. I don't know why it's minus six hundred and fifty thousand stored. Uh, why we have so much stored? You see that? Why do we have a deficit? Like what? I'm sure we have like f so much stored even. Look, we have so much stored. Oh, that's a bug. Look, we have so much stored that we don't have a deficit. It's, there's, there's no way we have a deficit of infantry equipment. Is it? No, they are full supplied, fully supplied. They don't need anything. That's simply a bug, I guess. Because, I don't know, it's a bug. Yeah, what should I do with my vast army then here, especially in the American Peninsula? <coughs> Alright, available war goal. Bolivia, no, Bolivian Venezuela. Yeah, against Bolivarian, it's called Bolivarian Venezuela. Bolivar. They have such a vast industry, but only two divisions, that's simply sad. So let's call in the allies. Now let's well, play the game of waiting, because it's always laggy. If you declare war to a country, a uh, British Guiana, let's simply wait and see. Mm. Well. But then we should be able to capture them quite quick. With the 23rd army, I just see that they have no divisions assigned here. And now there we go. Now we just hold enter and take all of them away. There we did it. It's the 23rd army. 23rd. Wait, that's. Um, let's see. You will push only from this sector because not from them. that sector is already overcrowded. So from this, let's see yeah, this sector only. We'll push into Bolivia aggressively under the control of General Mikhail Alexeyev. What are all my 58 divisions doing there? Are readying themselves to capture Bolivia? Yeah, yeah, they should. These are mainly Brazilian units. Well, they have certainly a lots, lots of Brazilian units. There's no doubt about it. Combine them and then let's combine them. Because these 20, well, it will take some time so we can first tell them all. I'm a field marshal uh, Grigory Konyev, so it's close to Ivan Konyev, so he may be good because he's. <laughs> uh, he has the similar name to the best general in the world, Ivan Konyev. Risk occupation, of course, I'm not, I mean, don't I have the occupation force? I have. Uh, 114 even. Garrison the area then. 
garrison the area. And I don't know why I haven't captured Ireland yet. Well, it's probably time to do so, isn't it, guys? It is truly. So Ireland, uh, we have 5 to 9 divisions, the British have 12 to 23. Perhaps we should capture Belfast. Belfast first. Um, yeah, but... Okay. I'm just gonna use French troops. If they die, they die, it isn't a problem. Because they have so much in quantities, therefore that shouldn't be a problem, to be honest. Say 57, that's too much here. Yeah. But let's use them, fine, let's send them to that naval base. What should I build here? Let's see, what do I need, uh, like, for resources? I have everything in good surplus. Everything in superbly good surplus. Um, yeah, my navy, I need a stronger navy. I'm really not. Well, it's the last one. Destroyer 4, Mark 1, that's 7 sounds. Let's build a super heavy, super heavy battleship. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna build some super heavy battleships. Yeah, it's super heavy. And also modify that so it's superb. It's 23,000. Wow. Well, here, gun, make a superb gun. So that ship is will be the, the flagship of the Soviet fleet, of the Soviet flotilla. Hurra! Alright, 4 and 5, all of the EPs used for the ship. Of course, 23,000, that's in the name of God, bloody much. 23,000 to produce it. It will take us well, 1.2 years to get it done. And it costs... It costs quite a little bit of resources. We are gonna get yeah, a good wave of super heavy ballot ships. Now, of course you will. And we need iron. We need iron. As the Soviet Union, we need iron. Is that yet to believe that we need iron as the Soviet Union? Well, that's rather funny, but here yeah, we have. Yeah, we are even a close economy. I, how much iron do we? We produce 4,500, 4,497 iron. Lots. We produce a four. Come on. I, I simply. I'm misclicking it all the time. Come on, here. Yeah. We produce 4,497 iron, although we still need iron. Therefore, you see how much we produce. Look to this region, how much... Oh my god. Th that is truly a resource heaven. We produce, although, 4,500 iron. And we use all of it. That's... Well, I don't know what to say anymore. That's simply... I don't know. Amazing. <coughs> yeah, let's get more iron foundries in the Russian region, of course. There. Around here, on this region, yeah, and as well as in Siberia, I want to make Siberia the iron mine of the USSR. The iron mine of the USSR. Great. There we go. Superb. Oh, we should be busy. Now our NSC should be busy. Bolivarian, Venezuela, joined NATO. Oh, that's really bad. No, losing the NATO even. Oh, this country. Interesting. Like, we are fighting against the USSR. Well, the flags in these mods are always bugged, but that's, yeah, I don't mind, to be honest. Way of the war go, Danish, Ireland, Ireland, Nicaragua. I need it against Guatemala. Uh, I won't uh, do it against Ireland yet. Yeah, good if it has been merged out of mind. These units are moving there. Well, I mean, I don't need that many. I just need a quick... A quick, um... Invasion. Therefore, specification of Rhodesia is finished, of Angola as well. That sounds great. So far, so great. Let's get these tanks as well as these motorized divisions up to, do, to spearhead the invasion. 11 divisions should be enough, I think. Go from here up to Belfast, simply this sector. 20th Army, they will really need, they need 38 days to prepare. Uh, we require narrow supremacy. We'll get it. Yeah, we'll simply deploy our planes here. We have quite a good amount of planes, if you see that. We just, I'm just scrolling through. I have so many planes. What in the name of God? Um, I need simply some fighters. Jet fighter mark 1, 600. Deploy them there, which is 24,000. Let's deploy 600 here as well. 600. Now, only deploy the best ones. Jet fighter 2 mark 1, 600 there. And 600 in Lancashire. 
and okay, but, and 600 in the Scottish Highlands. Then, but this should be certainly enough. Our army mm, could have much better. Better actually. Why are they all attacking that unit? Are they like, idiots? Okay, go to Oran. Let's go through. Okay, all tell them different. They are not so smart. I just see. Yeah, just capture the proximity first. They should manage that though. I think. And this division just march through. There. Is that a British carrier? Well, I like the look of the carrier. Giant Wars, yeah, sure, you can join, I don't mind. Egypt, no, I don't need it. <coughs> okay, let's check once more our justifications. Against so many countries, Nicaragua, well, I'll need against, firstly, against Guatemala, because otherwise I can't reach the countries. Yeah, we're still justifying. Uh, 640,000, that's a joke. Units of equipment and storage. It, it even says, with our current production, this will last for 800 days. So, it's just a displacement bug here, you don't have to care about it. The other things we all have in good surplus. Yeah, it's only good surplus. What about should I produce? That is the question with my military factories then. I have not the slightest of a clue. Thanks. I don't know. They are too expensive. And we don't. Plus, we don't need more. I wanna see here. I'm sure I have some spearhead thing divisions here in the US. Uh, yeah, I don't need to guard the area. It's Trakovia Divisia. It's only infantry here. Um, only infantry is guarding it. How I see. My tanks, I think I sent my tanks away already. That's fine then. I don't have to really guard this area. Normally, but whatever. We have 57 nukes, we should make good use of them, for example. Uh, we must have a bomb on here by which we will. If I just could find it in my war storage here, that would be great. Uh, strategic bomber, let's deploy some with control creek. Yeah, 110. Alright. I'm also gonna uh, bomb the uh, stats, the Colombian in, in, the Colombian industry to shreds. Yeah, the Colombian industry is gonna be bombed to shreds. If I could find, yeah, uh, I need strategic bomber, not tactical one. That's the problem. I need strategic, strategic bomber one. That's the old sort of date. Although I don't mind. Strategic, strategic bomber, strat, and then you as well. Okay, up to 800. 800 self limit and deploy, which will be 62,000 manpower will be used just for that. That's why haven't I done it earlier? Actually, that's should have done it earlier. Okay, now of course, yeah. Now the front line is getting scratched, a stretch from the Colombians. So that's good for us. Construction. Mm. Why am I always clicking a surplus? 200 surplus. Let's get a higher, even a higher surplus of. Steel here. There we go. Then uh, look again the same. <laughs> then steel, steel. We could need more steel and more tungsten. These two, more steel and more tungsten. Especially steel. We'll need lots of steel and lots of tungsten. Gonna queue in. Pick more tungsten like this as well. Siberian region, not in the coastlines. Alright. This would be nice. So that's resistance occupation and greater London area. I told the French troops to look here so many divisions, they still need help. Well, well, well. Okay, I'll also send these then. These divisions here, which are not assigned to any army. Francis, though so many troops that's simply well, nice. In interesting to see how many troops France has. Well, anyways, yeah. We need to ship more troops into. Well, France should use their divisions. They are simply not using them. Yeah. Ship them from Dunkirk, Dunkirk, Dunkirk into that area. 
and the EU might be still preparing our air yeah, yeah, invades. But let's use our air power to get complete dominance. Discover and Northern Islands. Alright, we rule the skies there. I in the Western approaches as well. Let's go to the Western approaches. Okay, can you go now? I think they still need Nero's priority. Only 20. That means. I need more points, I think, is the easiest answer for that. Um, isn't that. I'm not sure actually. We have how many. how high numbers we are in the region? It's only 20% because our air supremacy is 20.8%. Or if we just no access to that region whatsoever. And I'd say it's time to send our fleet into the region, isn't it? We need more planes in the region, that's for sure. I thought the Brits have better airfields, they don't apparently. Well, let's get a naval bomber up here, 1000 naval bombers there. And then also jet fighters here as well, jet fighters. I have so many fighters in storage, I just need to scroll through, scroll myself to death. Until I find the correct one, here we go. 1000 there, alright. Deployed. Our air is 1.28 million strong. Completely not an overkill, no. 1200 here, let's deploy 1000 jet fighters here as well. But then it should be enough. Truly. Um, aircraft detection. Well, where is my navy actually? My in the Eastern Mediterranean. Traya, let me scare for Attila. They have nothing better to do. No on front. Active in the Baltic Sea. I think the British Navy is quite strong, isn't it? No, 31. 35 to 41 ships. Although I will call my ships here into St. Petersburg, at least some of them. I'm gonna call all of them, do a naval reorganization actually. My navy. <coughs> they are in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, they can stay there, I don't mind. Yeah, they are doing a bloody good job in the Eastern Mediterranean, so they'll stay there. Severni Padvoni Flot, you're gonna be sent to Vladivostok, not, not Florida Coast, you're too far away. But send you into the Florida Coast, fine. Because the American Navy is doing a good job, I guess, but you can reach it, that's good. Uh, Italy, Italy, that's Mediterranean Sea. Patrol. Patrol, like these two provinces. Alright, then my navy here patrols as well. Let's hit patrol, patrol. First hold, then patrol. These three provinces, alright. That should be fine then. And then. No, what's the northern front? You're gonna be sent there, I don't mind. You are there already, okay, let's get. Green coast, you're gonna be sent. Wait there, I don't know why, but they are doing such a good task. Yeah, you are gonna stay there. Doing some convoy escort in the region. Yeah, alright. Battleship 4, Mark 1. Alright, my navy is gonna arrive soon. Uh, let's research. Find Flying Fortress, I guess. Alright, Algeria is gonna capitulate soon. Just have to nuke them more, then they'll should even capitulate. Uh, France would do a splendid naval invasion there. Simply nuke the dam out of that province, as well as Tunisia. The USA, yeah, the USA aren't even leaving uh, the NATO, therefore. They have an unit of 65%, we have to keep the nuke. See, you lose Oran, you do not lose any. Uh, but it doesn't say how much national unity they lose. Why doesn't it tell? Well, they should capitulate. The Algerians. Where's their capital? The deserts. If you drop it there, it doesn't tell. But I'm simply gonna drop it anyways. Alright. Algeria did capitulate. It's great news. It capitulates. Now, well, I will get to. Direct control above 
Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess these are enough. The French, they might do something with the units anyways. We have 70. Let's divide it up to 35, 35. 53rd army go into this sector and push the Moroccans. And then the 31st army push the Tunisians. Alright, from that area. That's interesting. Algeria is back under French rule, huh? Let's get the Spanish divisions here. Request all of the Spanish forces, all of them, they are requested, and I'm gonna send them into Algier. Route 19. Central New Lights, 19 selected. Just gonna send into Murcia, Murcia, and then into Africa. by attrition. I can't send more because it would simply over exceed the capacities of the region's infrastructure. Yeah, I have lots, I simply too many civilian free civilian factories. I let's why well, I'm simply reclicking misclicking at tanks. Do you have a support of 400 iron? 400. Therefore I will build a huge wave of naval lockouts here. Because primarily in the Russian region, especially here, only in the Russian region, mainly here in Crimea, that's uh, Soviet, therefore, we can build it there as well. Alright, here as well, here, here, and here. Great. Oh no, our industry should be truly busy of building stuff, truly. Yeah. Alright, the French commune controls, well, the Algerian colonies once more. That's interesting, isn't it? Libyan electorates. They are part of the Kamintiaran. Let's check the war goals. Is the justification finally done against Guatemala? It still is not. We are progressing so slowly. Let's go through one by one. Uh, we can justify against Mozambique. Mos uh, but we have no units uh, well, against Angola. Let's get the Angolians first, then. Declare war call allies, no big. Well, oh, we need to wait simply until uh, well our allies join the war. It's taking always a long time, you know that. Our allies sent. We'll well raise the world tension by 122 percent apparently. So I don't know, like the world tension must be around 1 million percent right now. I guess because of us. There we go. Now click everything away. Tell our army here to execute. And against whom else? Well, I'm gonna continue the war in the next episode. I'm gonna take a cut here. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of my awesome spy of the Soviet Union, world domination. Also, don't forget to write in the comments if you think I should continue this let's play until the world is completely conquered or well finish and start a new one well anyways thank you for watching me and have a good day to you all